welcomes the station six of the stations of Jesus' passion here in St Peter's Churchyard in Cradley. Golgotha, the place of the skull. This is the year when we follow the Gospel of Mark's story of Easter. A reading from Mark chapter 15 verses 22 to 42. And they brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. They offered him wine, drugged with myrrh, but he refused it. Then the soldiers nailed him to the cross. They divided his clothes and threw dice to decide who would get each piece. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. A sign was fastened to the cross, announcing the charge against him. It read, The King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. The people passing by shouted abuse, shaking their heads in mockery. Ha! Look at you now, they yelled at him. They said you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Well then, save yourself and come down from the cross. The leading priests and teachers of religious law also mocked Jesus. He saved others, they scoffed, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, this King of Israel, come down from the cross so we can see it and believe him. Even the men who were crucified with Jesus really killed him. At noon darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. Then at three o'clock Jesus called out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Some of the bystanders misunderstood and thought he was calling for the prophet Elijah. One of them ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, holding it up to him on a reed stick so he could drink. Wait, he said. Let's see whether Elijah comes to take him down. Then Jesus uttered another loud cry and breathed his last, and the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Then the Roman officer who stood facing him saw how he had died and exclaimed, This man truly was the Son of God. Some women were there, watching from a distance, including Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James the Younger and of Joseph, and Salome. They had been followers of Jesus and had cared for him while he was in Galilee. Many other women had come to him with Jerusalem and were also there. I wonder if Jesus felt thirsty. I wonder why was Jesus feeling abandoned if there were so many people around. I wonder how the Roman officer knew that Jesus truly was the Son of God. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, help me to know you truly as the Son of God. Amen.